every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing said the compressed coffee from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because So there is a pattern that is responsible for administering salvation are we together now you do not think salvation and then you are saved no that's not the pattern for it the pattern that administers salvation as we know new birth is found in romans chapter 10 when you read from verse 8 to 10 is that true the bible says the word is near you in your mouth and in your hearts the word of faith which we preach that if you will confess that's the pattern with your mouth the lord jesus believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead salvation is administered to you the formula is in the next verse it says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth salvation is i mean confession is made unto salvation so it is a pattern anybody who does not subscribe to that pattern is not saved it's as honest and sincere and simple as that there are spiritual patterns that are responsible for releasing and activating the blessing of the Lord upon the believer patterns that relate to giving for instance there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty it's not an information it's a pattern another spiritual pattern that supports your longevity is he who does not walk should not eat it's an advice that if you plan to be lazy forget about food because eating without walking will kill you this is a medical advice these are spiritual patterns so part of the ways you choose life is that anytime you see a plate of food in front of you ask yourself what work is this food going to support this is how to live long it's an advice are we together there is a pattern that is responsible for renewal the bible says has thou not heard seen has thou not heard the everlasting god the lord are we together that he is not weary he does not faint then the bible says even the young men will faint and the youth will be weary it says but they that wait is a pattern it's not just an information that that it is human to be weary the wear and tear the vicissitudes of life can beat down your focus your zeal and your power incorporate this pattern to your spiritual work and you will run and not be weary you will walk and not faint so every time you are weary and you are fainting that is an information that your pain is telling you you are violating a spiritual pattern Hmm. the bible says the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy are we together now so he gave you a pattern that encapsulates satan's work so for you to verify whether it is the devil search for these things is there stealing in it is there killing in it is there destruction in it the moment you see it you know that that is a pattern there is also a pattern that shows you when the kingdom of god shows up in a place it says the kingdom of god encapsulates these tripartite factors righteousness peace joy in the holy ghost This is a prophetic compendium of patterns, roadmaps that lead to mysterious outcomes. These are the principles that turn ordinary people to signs and wonders. That we reign and we rule in this kingdom on the strength of the patterns we have found. Our possibilities are not defined by the love of God. The same Lord is rich unto all. They are predicated upon our comprehending the spiritual patterns. 
So two people loved by God can be in Abia state. Sincere believers, but their possibilities can be east and west. It's not a measure of the love of God for them. It is a measure of how far they have been able to discover the patterns that are responsible for the outcomes they desire. This is a very powerful revelation. The name given to this revelation is Jesus the way. Jesus did not say I am life alone. He said I am the way. The methodology of the kingdom. Is God speaking to someone? Several people desire the anointing. But there are spiritual patterns that control and govern both the reception and the administration of the anointing. You see, mastery makes difficult things look easy. But behind them is a, is a diligent study of their operations. Please hear me, saints of God. The quality of my life and your life in this kingdom will depend on how much we are willing to obtain grace from God and become students in the school of the spirit to search for the patterns. Not just to desire the outcome that those patterns produce. To search for it. This church is growing and increasing and making impact at a global scale because there is a pattern. I assure you, there is a pattern. There is nobody sincerely who commands certain degrees of exploit who does not know what he is doing. It's just that the, the awareness of the mercy of God will make you just say, look, it's the all glory to God. But the truth is where you probe deeply, they will sincerely tell you, I am what I am by the grace of God. But this grace was not showered on me in that I labored more than ye all. There is a labored dimension of faith that helps you to birth certain spiritual patterns. Now my question very briefly before we pray is which spiritual pattern do you not know? Leave the one you know. Could and your life you will say so there is a relationship between your words and your victory it's a pattern it says let the redeemed of the Lord he already called them the redeemed but he says say so because everything starts from the realm of the spirit but will require authorization from the saints to be manifest it is always the spirit and the bride that says come so when the spirit says come, he's waiting for the bride on earth to also say come. When the spirit says lifted, the bride must also say lifted. It is the spirit and the bride that tells the world to come. It's a pattern. Forever, oh Lord, your word is settled. Not in your life, in heaven. It tells you the location where the word is settled. It will take faith and engaging these patterns for it to become a reality in your life. Open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of thy law. There is a spiritual pattern responsible for speed. The Bible says, Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Jezreel. That means there is something you can engage in the spirit that will release a supply of that grace, and your results become 
from a human standpoint it will look as if you held a charm can i tell you this now please listen very carefully every dimension of results you see listen carefully whether it came from a man of God or God as you call it or it came from a herbalist or it came from diviners are we together now if you ever see any result that is superhuman was a manipulation of spiritual laws there is only one force and one power once have I spoken and twice that how many oh. if it ever works is because the power of God not necessarily God was involved in that process if God is not involved in that process, it does not work. And without him was not anything made, including the result of a hidden. Without him was not anything made that was made. But this is, let me explain to you why it seems to happen. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.